Hello, my name is Michael Mishko. I am the business manager for Maxim Integrated's automotive USB product line. Today we are talking about the Max 25410 automotive USB power delivery port protector. There are common design challenges that an engineer would face when they are designing a USB power delivery port and the 25410 helps to address these. Those challenges are, as car infotainment systems are adopting USB-C, it is very difficult to find an automotive, designed for automotive USB power delivery controller. This forces engineers to determine whether they should use a non-automotive solution or wait for an automotive grade USB power delivery controller. In USB power delivery, VCON is required in order to support the passenger's power delivery devices, but VCON DC-DC converters add cost and VCON protection can be complicated. D plus D minus protection has existed in the market, it is not new to USB-C, but this protection feature should be integrated with the CC and VCON solution in order to save cost and solution size. So the 25410 offers automotive grade protection on CC1, CC2, D plus and D minus. These are pins on the USB-C connector. The protection includes IEC and ISO ESD protection, short to VBUS and short to battery and short to ground protection. The VCON solution in the 25410 is up to one watt. Uh, the CC1 and CC2 protection does have a protection data switch, which isolates the low voltage power delivery controller from any high voltage events on the connector. The VCON solution has 550 milliohm uh, FETs or switches with two different current limit thresholds, 250 milliamps uh, for a, pri for a um, early detection and 600 milliamps for, for a secondary detection. The D plus D minus protection switches are 1 gigahertz in 3 dB bandwidth. The over voltage protection for the 25410 is up to 24 volts on the CC1 and CC2 pins as well as the D plus D minus and they do make sure that the low voltage side, the USB PD controller or hub IC, does not see anything higher than 4.2 volts on the low voltage side, or 5.85 for the CC pins. There is autom automatic fault detection and recovery, and there is charging options available with uh, BC 1.2, Apple 2.4 DCP, as well as Samsung charging. Uh, SDP and on the go as well as Apple CarPlay are supported. So the 25410 is, avail is, is used in head units, hubs, multimedia boxes, breakout boxes and dedicated charging modules and is available for uh, 1k pricing of $1.50 and the EV kit um, is in the max 25410 EVKIT pound sign. There's two typical applications that you see here. Uh, on the left is a multimedia hub, is an example of a CDP, charging downstream port application. That is where there's charging and power on the connector. On the connector. On the right, you see a dedicated charging port where there is no data, uh, D plus D minus USB data, just VBUS charging with USB power delivery. In both applications, you see that the 25410 is protecting the CC and the D plus D minus on the right hand side, and it is protecting uh, the low voltage, like a USB hub IC or a power delivery controller on the left. The power delivery controller controls the VCON switches using the GPIO interface on the 25410. The internal subsystem or block diagram is shown on this slide and you can see the 
different signal chains through the part, D plus, D minus, which starts with the high voltage version on the right, HVD minus, HVD plus, goes through the protection data switch. There's the optional charge, uh, USB charging block there. And then you can see the different uh, protection blocks as it goes to the low voltage side, the D minus, D plus pins. Uh, the other signal chain that goes through the part is the CC1 and CC2. Again, it starts on the high voltage side on the right and goes to the low voltage on the left. You can see the protection switches, which are back-to-back -back in this with back-to-back -back FETs um, in order to protect both the VCON and the data lines on the CC pins. Uh, for those um, that need VCON, there's options with VCON. Uh, the VCC pin provides not only the chip power, but it provides the VCON power. And there are VCON switches which apply VCON power to the right CC pin uh, if required. So we talked about the challenges earlier, and the 25410 addresses these challenges. Um, it provides a single chip solution with protection in a small 4x4 four four millimeter package. And this protection that we're talking about here is what solves the problem listed above, where there's non-designed for automotive power delivery controllers. The protection of the 25410 can be thought of as a shield, a protection shield, which can convert any consumer grade power delivery controller to an automotive protected solution. In the middle, uh, we address the VCON requirement and the extra costs of the DC-DC and the complications of the protection by giving a tiny integrated VCON solution that has intelligent uh, protection and very accurate protection which eliminates the need for a dedicated DC-DC uh, uh, regulator. As mentioned, we also integrate the traditional uh, D plus D minus interface into this device. And so a single chip, 25410, solves all three of these problems. If you'd like to learn more, visit us on the website at maximintegrated.com slash max25410. Uh, you can also get the EV kit uh, available to you on the Maxim website uh, at the URL listed there. Also, you can contact our local sales uh, representatives, and we are happy to answer any questions that you have. Thank you for taking the time to learn about Maxim's automotive USB-C protector, the Max 25410.